Good morning and Boom. welcome to the podcast. Podcast. God, just such an unbelievably immediate red light on that because you shouted just straight away. Oh, really? Well, <laughs> don't worry about that now. I don't, I don't, it's my birthday week. Happy are birthday you, week. Are That's you right. a girl? This is what girls do. Ah, no, no, no. But I, do you know what? I, are, you, are you a big one for your... You, you like a birthday, Pat. <laughs> you like to organise yourself a party. You've had loads of them. Huh? Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Fuck, who the oh, fuck's Jesus. ringing me? Um, yeah. Hello, Jamali. The reason I'm calling you Jamali is that we're in the middle of a podcast. Middle? What were you going to ask about? Is it about the electrician thing? There's an electrician coming to... No, well, there might be an electrician coming to... Mind. Yeah, to fix Vittorio's mind. Just the yeah. hood installation. What were you going to, to ask? Nice and, uh, quickly, we've just, literally just started. Uh, she, she says, hello, Mike. Good, lovely. But, but she, she how you, Jamalia? Ask her how's the weather <laughs> wherever she is there. <laughs> it's pretty windy. Um, what's the crack? This is taking the piss out of the listeners of this audience now. And the guest. Huh? Huh? <laughs> the guest. Pardon? You're fucking, you're, you're here on borrowed time, brother. <laughs> We're doing a Turns Patreon up late with a fucking half a forest to eat. Didn't realize, look I, could, didn't realize I could have just phoned in. Huh? <laughs> is that, you, is that all right? brought your salad. I want to yeah. show people this. Even brought the salad here. What's wrong with having a salad? To munch on yeah, every, no every time we start saying something racist. Okay, no, I, know, I know your listeners won't like it. They're not used to chewing. I bet. <laughs> <laughs> We're back. Sorry about that. Fucking women. What the hell? Women. <laughs> Turn that phone off. Phone but, off. But you've had, it was the laptop that made the noise. Um, but you've you've had many birthdays. Wasn't it? You've both had so had, many birthdays. Yeah. You saying we're old? Yeah. Yeah. More than you. You're big, you're big birthday guys. I no, wouldn't really, have had I'm as many I'm birthdays. Really, I'm really as starting my age. A lot of um, celebrities do that. Do you know that? Oh, really? Yeah. Yo, I, there's some comedians that do that. And then yeah. I caught him just there. Josh Jones. You know Josh? No. Um, you do. Oh, yeah. I know him, yeah, but I didn't know his birthday. Thing. Oh, yeah. So he like he would just tell the industry that he was an age that he wasn't. And then I was like, Josh, you know your Instagram name is Josh Jones 94 <laughs> Right. Which is his year of birth. I was like, you can't lie about your age and but then have your... Isn't. No, but it is. Oh, is it? Was it he is. saying he was younger, was it? Yeah. Oh, fuck. He looks young. He does. They have good skin, those That's fellas. Right. Yeah. But I would say now, in terms of age, because obviously Paddy's or Paddy... You're the oldest here, Paddy. I'm 43. You're the oldest yeah. person now. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, well, Paddy's, Paddy's hairline, although he has less time to live, his hairline now would be it really making... It fucking angers me. It'd be it's making, lovely to see how far yeah. you boys have come, because I think when I did this the first time, it was about a year ago, there was phone calls, there was uh, women A, <laughs> and there was hate in my hairline. It's so good that we just sort of picked up where we left off. It's a growth mindset. Remember. It's a growth you, mindset. What's wrong with your, your, is your hairline back? Your no, hairline. My, no, my hairline's all right, but if, if you really start to, you know, it, it's not moving Once forward. Once you Pat, start worrying. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Once you start worrying about it, it just, it's all, it consumes every thought in your brain. There's a little bit, there's a little bit of fucking you know, slight a hand I'm doing here, bringing bits down and around. Like, do you know what I mean? Yes. Your one is nearly fucking crawling up your nose. <laughs> it's a fucking disgrace. Well, I'll tell you what's annoyed me though. I, I'm sick of these people going to Turkey. Because one of the few things that I was promised from a young age was you're always going to have a good hairline. That's what my whole family said. Right. We're, not, we're not intelligent. We're not like, you know, all the other things that you'd want. But we've all, we're all we're a good hairy family. But guys can just go to Turkey and just get it. Now you're seeing fucking Wayne Rooney. I don't was, like that, yeah. Yeah, bald from the time he's 21. Now he's a... Uh, a thick head of hair. This is all yeah. that you had? Right. Yeah. This that, would be like if people were going to Turkey to get head enlargement, I would be furious about that. Yeah. And yeah. be like, that's mine. Exactly. Give it back. Oh, lad. <laughs> Funny. I was at, so I was doing these shows in the Netherlands over the weekend. <laughs> and uh, uh, in Eindhoven, there was um, there was these two fans of the, the podcast. <laughs> is that and, what uh, they called it? Yeah, the Dutch. We guys, love the podcast. We love the podcast. <laughs> and then they're, they're like, they're like, ah. Oh, it was in the cinema, this old cinema. Mm. It's fucking sick venue, actually. Sometimes um, I struggle. Cinemas I find difficult acoustically. Sometimes yeah. they're very, very like dampened and it's like being inside kind of a jewelry box. No, type I thing. know, I know. I have really good material, though. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah. used to silence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. there's, there's nothing to echo. <laughs> uh, they were engaged. Uh, but. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you put a film on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just Killers of the Flower Moon. <laughs> yeah. They. Uh, but anyway. Uh, the boys come up, they're like, we are big, they're big fans of the podcast, they love the podcast. <laughs> then they're like, ah, they're like, ah, we don't see Vittorio today, his, his head couldn't fit in the cinema. <laughs> 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 his head's too fat to fit, and then they're like, ha, 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 ha. They were fucking loving it, talking about your big fat head. They were like, then they're like, slapping me, his head too big for the cinema. <laughs> 
<laughs> so lucky for you guys that there's neurodiverse people across the continent. Oh, lad. You know? My goodness, the number of divergents that have come to my tour show so far. It's like yeah. the X-Men are assembling these <laughs> shows. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Xavier just, just you know, yeah. <laughs> moving things with his mind. Magne- like the mic gets bent in his hand. Magne- <laughs> I the version of Cyclops, except he just can't make eye contact. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Put there's, <it> one eye. <laughs> there's quite a big thing on, on the internet at the minute going back in the like the X-Men lore for some of like the wildest shit that happened in like the old old X-Men cartoons at one point Professor Xavier uh, did like a mind trick on Magneto that sent him back to the Holocaust and made him like live it all again <laughs> really <laughs> yeah. wow. no one, and everyone couldn't act like butter wouldn't melt in Xavier's mouth <laughs> don't they <laughs> They act like he's, he's nothing but fucking kindness and flowers. Magneto's there like, never again. We discussed this. And Xavier's like, rewind. Oh, that is sick from him. <laughs> from Xavier. But it's good to know he has a bit of caught in him. Yeah. Should I, should I bet Magneto not be able to like stop it? Like huh? if you can control all metal, surely you can stop the... Ho- I think if I could control all metal, I could stop the Holocaust. Well, not was- to be like Mark Wahlberg talking about 9-11. Have you heard that? No. He says if he was on that plane, it would have gone a very different way. <laughs> Walbrook said he that. genuinely thinks he would have stopped the hijackers. He probably could have done. What? Well, <laughs> he's good at you know. Yeah, he's attacked people were, of other races plenty of times. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a good track record. No, he's probably get the wrong guy. It's in, it's in his skill set. He's just like, punching a Vietnamese. He's about to stop the terrorists. You go, which terrorists? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, he was punching them anyway. Absolutely. As soon as they got on the plane, he's like, fucking season boys. Let me just go into my slur book. Yeah. <laughs> he's got a little, like, you know, like a little phrase book you take on holiday in yeah. the past, but he's just got to, like, like what, what should I call them here? I tell you what I do think, though. Uh, do you watch University Challenge? Yeah. Uh, were you on it? No. I was a reserve for the celebrity one. Ah, wow! Yeah, the alumni special. Nice. Right. Well, when I see the the the, the non celebrity one, I've noticed that they a lot of them have got they're very clever, aren't they? These young people, very very yes, clever. very clever yeah. young people. Oh my god! I hope it isn't an electrician. Keep talking. Yeah, but, but they've got a. Uh, I was watching one the other day, and every single person on one of the teams yeah. had um, glasses and hearing aids. And a hearing aid. Yeah. Like you, the guy out with Malcolm in the Middle. The, yeah, but the, it's, the it's, guy. it's funny how it's always like really intelligent people. That it, are fucked. Yeah, it's like they're, it's kind of like their brain is so powerful that everything else is on low battery mode. But is I this a universal, think, university challenge? Yeah, yeah they're like moving, you know, in, so powerful, everything else in is like not working. sci-fi on right. spaceships, they're like divert all power towards the defense shields. Yeah. It's just all on but general the, knowledge. But the heat from the brain, like it's, it's so active just melts the eardrums must do absolutely so then yeah. they're just absolutely yeah the eardrums are just like workers at Chernobyl <laughs> <laughs> um, by the way I, too good. <laughs> I'm going to have to run interference on this electrician and hopefully he doesn't have any power tools with him because he has just arrived to what? install to do hood. shit over here <laughs> I mean, this is a it's fucking It's a real joke. living nightmare. I thought this podcast was happening two hours earlier than it was, and this is entirely my fault. It's entirely your fault, but sure, we could get the cunt on and just say, hey, <laughs> say what some do you funny, think about let, Gaza? Pull some tradespeople <laughs> pranks on us. You've got a small brain. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think the move is? Should we pause and like come back once we figure out what the level of electricianing is going to happen? Yeah, pause it, pause it. Do you think it. that's probably the, that's the best, the best thing to do? Yes. For the audience, like, for the listeners. Or just, yeah, because... that's what we care about. Well, yes, that's certainly what we're trying to, to sell. Um, <laughs> I'll pause, pause it, I'll pause it, yeah. yeah. We're, we're back. back. We've spent an hour and a half watching an electrician work. Yeah, God damn it. You'd... I like to watch, he seemed like quite a wise electrician. I don't know what well, it was about him. Well, certainly listening to our conversation for now. <laughs> 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 I mean, he also thought, he thought the podcast was still happening while he was working. He was like, oh, I don't want to step in front of the camera. And I was like, we are not. Doing anything but there right isn't now. a lot of difference. Yeah, right. right. <laughs> just the boys hanging we're out. Just, we're just there's certain people we're not going to bitch about on here. Yeah. Other than that, it's exactly. He's the same. heard the gossip. True. Yeah. He's heard all the yeah, unbroadcastable yeah. gossip. Nasty little things we were saying about uh, refugees. No, we didn't say I'm bad about refugees. But he books for curb. Huh? Yeah, yeah. They've sent them. They send them into the houses of different comedians <laughs> under the yeah. guise of tradespeople. I need yeah. to look at your fuse. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's like a honeypot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's funny. So we were chatting about but these university challenge boys yeah. and girls. Wait, so you did it? How packs are coming on? Or did you nearly do um, it? I nearly did it. So I, I had to go to the studio because mm-hmm. the reserves have to be in situ for the Christmas alumni special. 
well. Mm-hmm. Um, and my uni has a pretty like uh, high bar for celeb alumni, so I was really like grasping at straws. Like who? Now. But then the biggest, biggest aren't doing Celebrity University Challenge. Who was on this one? Who's the biggest? The biggest celebrity that went to my uni? Yeah. Daniel Craig, Orlando Bloom. They're not famous. <laughs> they're, they're not. <laughs> Hardly. What? Compared to us. What's Craig done since Bond? How many's on his Patreon? How many's doing the Moth Club this Thursday? <laughs> the what Club? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Orlando Bloom, sure, he could never, and I don't mean, to, don't mean to be speaking ill of someone, but like, after Lord of the Rings, he's got, he's working in a Greg somewhere, is he? Is he, is he, even, <laughs> is he knocking about even? Pirates of Caribbean? Huh? Pirates of the Caribbean? But sure, that was in the same. He got two big there franchises. Only, there was, yeah, there was only six of them. Yeah. <laughs> Having a big deck on a surfboard? Yeah, that Do, was amazing. Does he have a big flute? Oh, my it was just, goodness. It was, I wouldn't say it now without wanting to sound, you know. Gay. Risque. Yeah. Or gay, okay. It wasn't so much that it was big, it was just nice. Right. It was just a nice car. It was nice. But you saw the full flute or just the outline? Full flute. Full flute. He was deck Flossy. out on a... Katy Perry's on the front. What are they he's, called? He's like the what are they called? You stood up on, on, a, on a board... Paddle paddleboard, board. Yeah, 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 yeah. He stood up on a paddleboard with his cock out. Is that indecent exposure, or, or if it's Orlando Bloom, is it's it kind of de- like a, a, a fair play kind it's of a decent thing? De- it's yeah. fair play exposure. Yeah. It's kind of thanks. <laughs> they go, yeah. Hey, <laughs> if it's a nice enough cock, I think you should be allowed to get it out. Yeah. I'm a big proponent. I'm going to try and start because you know there's been the free the nipple movement, yeah, uh, broadly, which is which is has always been a funny one because it's like, hey, who was against that? Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. Like, but, who was sat there going, mm, put it away? Like the most hardline right wing kind of like Republican the guy, fucking Catholic thing. Church. They were, Is that who the Free the Nipple movement was targeting? The Catholic Church? Well, no, but they were the ones that were. They were the ones that fucking gave Everton grief. Like yeah. every little thing you want to do, they were like, Guilt. no, yeah. it's going to cause a moral disturbance. They thought yeah. of like people if you could see each other's nipples, that lads would just be up against trees, just. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> like a paddy and just be frothing, walking into oncoming traffic. Were they wrong? Were they wrong? But it didn't, it didn't feel like they were targeting at the Catholic Church. It felt like the the the, the feminists behind the free nipple movement were like, "You better let us show our nipples." And guys kind of went, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, "Yeah, better not, yeah. you dirty oh, dogs." We'd, we'd hate that. We'd hate that. <laughs> oh, don't, like, oh, don't. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it. Don't do it right oh, now. No, 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 no. Don't no, do it right no. now and forever. No. <laughs> We'd really, no, it rubs us up the wrong way. Oh. You're awful if you showed a bit of leg as well. He was like free to thigh you movement. You better like, not show me. <laughs> you better not show me your ass. Yeah. You better not. Hey, you. I, once went, I once saw a naked bike ride. Have you ever seen one of those? Bright, nope. They're big in Brighton. There's like one every year. There's one in London every year. There's one in, yeah, there's one in Manchester. Oh, that's crazy. And, um, when I, I realized because the tour de pants, huh? The tour de pants. Ah, oh, come on, <laughs> easy now. Not in front of Pat. No way. He's an alternative comedian. You can't be saying <laughs> making puns like that. Am I alternative? Huh? Look how look your ego just burst up there. Am I Sam Campbell? Am I? <laughs> no, he alter- got very excited. You provide an alternative to someone telling jokes. Oh, yeah. that's what people used to say, didn't they? Alternative to comedy. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's hitting nerve now. Mm. With you. I wouldn't say I don't you're... Think I am an alternative. Do you want to see the quote nah. that I said about you to the Glasgow fucking, International Comedy you're, Festival? You're, you're an old weathered road dog. <laughs> <laughs> you're a working man's club hero. <laughs> now, my ethics are alternative. Because <laughs> I gave you a recommendation for the Glasgow International... Yeah, yeah, this is genuinely what I sent over for their website. Mm-hmm. Paddy Young is the handsomest boy in all the land and just a fantastic comedian. So distinct, characterful and original. Don't tell him I said that, though. Oh, that's nice. Oh, Thank don't you. tell him I said it. I I'm gonna on what, the podcast. What, what did you, you say about bomb. me? Huh? Yeah. Well, well no, you, Mike. Who you recommend it? Mike I said the man has a sleight of hand that'd make your skin crawl. <laughs> 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 I said you'll jump over a bin when you least expect it, and the pants won't be on. <laughs> um, but you saw a naked bike ride. Yeah. And it was amazing because we, I was in the park, and then all these um, like uh, like foreign students turned up first. They were all from to watch. They were all from China or to do it. The Chinese came over for was, a naked bike there was, ride. There was loads of them. I, I didn't see any cyclists initially, but eventually there was like a hundred Chinese students, and then the and bike, they were all the Chinese. Bike ride, yeah, 
and then the bike ride finished in the park. So all this weird, all the cyclists were Chinese. No, 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 just people. The audience were. Yeah. The audience was so mainly wasn't Chinese. The audience, but these people heard it's about like it. Fucking Tiananmen Square. <laughs> that never happened. <laughs> <laughs> and then, they, when they arrived, the crowd formed a circle around them. The they cattled the they, naked and, cyclists. And, and they were taking photos and videos, and it, and it turned into a bit of a freak show. And I said to one of the guys, "I was like, why are you taking so many videos of them?" And he's like, "Oh, we we don't get this in my country." And he but he felt a bit. But sheepish. what accent was he doing? Huh? Because <laughs> 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 he didn't. Like, that didn't paint the picture for me. Now I didn't really. You think you can get See, it? How's the story? Sounded. You're supposed to be some kind You're of actor. actor. Come You're on. supposed to be yeah, an actor, a comedian. You're supposed <laughs> to be all sorts. Self tape. Go. What did he Just sound like? Just doesn't feel like that took me out of a pad. They have nine million bicycles there. That's right. He's a Chinese student. Sell it. <laughs> <laughs> you. Come on, please. No, it's, it's... Look in the camera. <laughs> You're going to need your two hands for the impression. <laughs> uh, but so they, they they came around the new the nudie people. Yeah. And and um, and you were trying to snapping pictures. Pat the protector. You were like, and were they doing? The, were they doing the very? <laughs> the, were, A lot. Guys, don't take pictures. Were they doing proper? You know, like um, how people from where they're from. Like stand when they take pictures, they're getting yeah, mad sure. angles. You know, people from where they're from, China. China. Yeah, we've already said it. You don't have to yeah. play coy now. I was. Just, I thought that was what you were supposed to say. Pads already let the racist cat out of the bag. I'm not racist. It, what were you were? You were like <laughs> you said they were Chinese. Chinese. You said they were Chinese. You were like yeah, they were. And they how, were did taking you, pictures? how did you know they were Chinese? Because they they were they were all Chinese. You went and asked every one of them. It's not racist. Where are you to, from? It's not racist to know <laughs> someone's race. <laughs> yeah, but could you do you like? So you were all, you. This was in the middle of Manchester, but they were all they, and they did they weren't speaking English to each other. Did they have flag? Was it initially we were sat there and we were like I was like Is there a man I was like, I'm yeah. imagining this. You're why, like, is, why there, loads of Asian is there a Man United game on? Huh? What's happening? Is, is there a Man United game on? <laughs> <laughs> they do love United. Yeah. <laughs> and they, they do, yeah. Old Trafford, uh, Old Trafford is just full of just full of Asians. Yeah. But um Pad, I'm, I'm sorry you brought this podcast down this road. This certainly isn't... I don't, I don't know what I was thinking. I don't this know why you brought that bring, bring up a re, yeah, <laughs> Bringing up any race on this podcast, that's going to be your next 25 minutes gone. <laughs> <laughs> um, but tell me this. So, and did you try to... Did you try to get so you tried to get the Chinese guys away? No, I just tapped one on the shoulder and I said, "Why are you taking so many?" Because it was because I can understand taking like one or two, maybe. Right, but they and is this they cameras were just, they were just or camera them. phones? And I could see that the people were turning up and feeling a bit self because they've already done the city. The city, yeah, they finished in this park, and then they were just feeling a bit self conscious. It's, it's hard like, to um, it's then, hard to it's hard to sell self consciousness while nakedly well, riding true. a bike through that the second true. biggest city in England. It's true. Yeah, but I guess you're on a bike, you're fleeting. You can you can be naked in front of millions of people if it's for a second. Your cock right? is flying by yeah. with the Doppler effect involved. Have you gone streaking? Hmm. Have ever gone streaking? Well, the Cockler effect. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's good stuff. That's really good stuff, actually. Um, you yeah, haven't streaking as a, as a team. Did as a bet, I ran no, uh, the length no. of the student union bar in university naked because I had a straw pedo competition. Did you ever straw pedo stuff? A straw pedo. <laughs> like a pedo like made a scare, of straw. Like a scarecrow who's also yeah. a pedophile. Yeah, to scare the children away. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you would. <laughs> put it outside shops. They put, they put it outside like straw the nuclear pedo. power plants. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. just, just a straw fucking savile. He comes up with straw in their pants. Hey, well, you've been to the nuclear power plant. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you... you yeah, so I, I challenged. There was a a, a, a girl who who and the cha I was very like proud of it. You know, straw pee doing. We no. have a straw in a bottle and it sticks out the end and it creates like the airflow to be able to just go and just like drink the whole bottle very very quickly. Oh, I do know it. And yeah. you would do it with like WKD, smart off ices, these types right. of things. Nice. And I was convinced I could do uh, three in the time this lady could do one, and it was close. But I think. Um, as a general vibe, but you lost so you would, to get I, naked. I think it would have been a better vibe. Were you trying to woo this lady? I think on some level, maybe a little bit, but also she was quite attractive, and I, I was trying to like do a service for the for the community in that the bet was the same stakes on either side. As in, if she lost, she had to run the length and breadth of but, the students. So her being naked. attractive is that? Does that mean so you you didn't it, mind showing her your Mickey? Is that no, it? no. It meant that I was was keen to see her Mickey. Ah, come on. You wanted to see her Na naked. I wanted to see the attractive lady naked. Don't? I don't. I think you're with me, and that's puzzled you there. I think you've put a lot of barriers in the way there. Yeah. This you clearly you're having a drink with an attractive woman. 
So, so you're, you're like, there's more just, of a communal thing, and there was bets and competitions oh, going on. And would all you not that ask shit? her to the, go to see the cinema? Maybe bring her to Gladiator. Go to see or the something. cinema, and just stand outside. And then you yeah. Just, then you just get it out. Yeah. <laughs> just whip it out there. She's nowhere to run. And then, she, and then you're like, ah. <laughs> 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 um, and Pad, so so you that's where you were naked, and Pad, you just you kind of just went running naked through kind of a field of pigs, was it or what? I went to no the town of Scarborough, where I'm from. Right. We used to we used to leave our clothes at my friend Sam's house, and then we'd go for a run and we'd run around. What? And and then we'd come back. And then my I won't say my friend's name, but we we were all she had an older brother and uh he was like quite a bit older than us. And he had bumped into uh an old teacher of hers in the in a shop and he said, Oh, is, is she all right? And he said, Yeah, why? He said, Oh, I saw her being chased by two naked men down the street. <laughs> it's because we were all like naked. And she was, just she was all naked. We also get they'll be like they'll be always sometimes there'd be two of us getting naked and sometimes it would be like I think as many as five would go go naked. And, and you would just run there and then what time of what time of night, day, what's like two AM, three AM. Two AM and, and you we would go just milking as oh, yeah, that's fine to say. No, you still, said it now. Still milk as well. Cats out the back, you'd, you'd milk. steal yeah. milk from cows? No, from doorsteps. Oh, I thought you were <laughs> So no. you were little sucking off cows? Little naked milk barons. Yeah. So this was a little rackage he had. It was a kind of like, you know... And you're stealing milk bottles while you're naked? Sometimes, yeah. We, um, but, but sometimes no, I, no, I don't know. This is fucking mad, Paddy. And uh, I'll tell you one thing. My friend once, we, we took... We once had... Uh, we once <laughs> took way too much milk. We took, like, my friend got, found a crate. You know, yeah. like... like mm, you know, a milk crate? Yeah, milk crate. Like 10, 10 glass bottles. Maybe more. Sitting on the wall. And we put my friend's house... And it was so many. And then we were like, which house did you take it from? And he described the house and we were like, that's an old people's home. <gasps> Whoa. So we said to him, you've got to take it back. So he put on his, he just had trousers on. He had no shoes and no shirt. And he went back and no someone service. was at the door. And they said, what are you doing? He said, I'm here to deliver your milk. <laughs> <laughs> so they thought the milkman <laughs> had gone a lot sexier. <laughs> but they must, they must have thought he was really like Pat Mustard character. Did you ever see him in Father Ted? No, who's the milkman who was shagging, shagging everyone. Oh, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He went around in a van and he was just, he was everyone's why, why father. Why so good at that? Because they're coming there uh, every morning. Mm -hmm. yeah. the, 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 the hubby's left. The hubby's gone to work. The mm -hmm. wife, of course, naturally is horny as sin mm -hmm. in the absence mm -hmm. of her husband. Mm -hmm. And then she's been brought milk by this burly stranger. Milk, of course, reminisces, uh, it brings the mind and the subconscious into orifices being milk, right, right. fluid com coming forth from bodies. And then, so then they just, they just can't help it. They say, they can't come in and have and your wicked way with me. me. And fuck me, so yeah. So do you think in like little in the vagina towns, in the towns that milkmen, it truly was a time when milkmen were getting laid more than anyone else? Um, riding, riding rings around the place. Almost yeah. certainly, yes. Really? Yeah. yeah. So you'd really want to be the milkman. I, I mean, mean the queue to apply for milkman would literally be miles like long. Yeah. That's right, yeah. They'd like Don't do forget. tests to see how much pussy you can take. <laughs> yeah. You would get... <laughs> we're turning up to five pussies. <laughs> <laughs> you would get, like, you would to get perfect grades to they, become a milkman. To, can you imagine like a montage of the training? They've got to like run over fences while like an angry husband. Yeah. <laughs> with their pants around their ankles yeah. just yeah. instead of punching a bag they like got the knob on it <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah but you're right there is a lot of saucy imagery in and around like being a milkman and the milk and licking, yeah. the, licking the cream off the top and all but it feels like a simpler time doesn't it well, I mean, look, Paddy, you knew you grew up on a farm. I did as yeah. well. I was around thick, creamy churns of milk. Yeah. And it does something to you. I mean, there probably wasn't a place in my farm that I, I didn't have a wank. I would say once I became yeah. ripe. Yeah, you, you guys know. didn't even need a milkman. Huh? You no. Were, you were at ground zero. That's, we were, <laughs> yeah, that's absolutely. I mean, we were the ones supplying him, you know. He came to us. You wow. Know? It you really it completely drained of cum. <laughs> <laughs> Please, another drop. Yeah. <laughs> we were dealers, we were like... Mike was all it'd be the he hadn't fucked for he hadn't fucked for a week and he's like, please, I just need a little bit of, I just need, I just need a couple of, just a couple of bottles, they'll do me right. Yeah. We'll take care of you this time, Johnny, but you're behind on your payments. I, I swear to God, I'm good for it, I'm good for it. Just the semi skim that never need to pull. It's just, <laughs> just the the still not fully pulled up. We're like, Jesus Christ, Johnny. Look after yourself. I can do you I can do you one percent. I yeah. can't go to semi. I can't go to semi. Uh, <laughs> the purple top. You can take yeah. a purple top. 
But uh, <laughs> yeah, Mike's family were the only ones fucking the milkman's wife. Yeah, <laughs> you're the top of the chain. You're the yeah. top of the pyramid yeah, scheme. Didn't hear about it. He's like, yeah, it's amazing we get to fuck the cows. You're like, sorry. <laughs> 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 you can have any woman in this town, Dad. Yeah, I like cows. Yeah. <laughs> Why go out for a burger when you have steak at home? <laughs> Just knee deep in a cow. <laughs> uh, but Pad, yeah. so because you're in. Oh yeah. No, I need. To, no, I need to know like the first instance of streaking like feels like you suggested this i think actually what happened the very first time is me and my mate were at another friend's house and he was cooking for us and when he went into the kitchen to get the food probably was me to be fair i said let's get naked when he comes oh no my friend my friend i remember being at my friend's house and he got naked and then me and my friend did it i was like that's genius right <laughs> and then so when we went You're to my other friend's house he went to the kitchen when he came back in with the food we were just completely naked and then and then i can't i think the first time we went out we went out somewhere. We were just like, let's run to this house and back again. And it was just, you know. And it wasn't like sexual. It was just like, it was just. Paddy, don't piss in my pocket and tell me it's raining, all right? It wasn't sexual running around. No, I know. Your... I get with this. It I get it. I don't think it was sexual. Yeah, but you don't think Anthony's sexual. You're a fucking eunuch. You're, you're, <laughs> yeah, you're... you're the other side of the coin. Huh? Yeah, you think everything's sexual. I tell you, you're right there beside me on the other side of that coin. No look, at, look at the way that I'm, hair. This I'm, is the horniest. Like, you're like your mother knitted you. It's like, this is the horniest. Hair. Your hair does oh, look no, like no, it's no. full of cum. It, you're, you're asexual. You're too sexual. I am. Not, Paddy, you are. And we've Z-sexual. had this before. You are 100% hornier than I am. No way. That, it's not even no. close. <laughs> you're so <laughs> you're you're literally, You're crazy. You, you're right. Wait, most no, of your I'm life. An, this is, you're I'm actually. An indi- I'm an independent s- adjudicator in the horniness. I'll say this. I like a kiss and a cuddle with my boys. Right. And they accuse that of being horny. That isn't horny. That's what affectionate. There's a difference between because you are not yeah. an affectionate man. That's no. not true at all. I just don't give you affection because you're like a little cat and you start fucking crawling up the walls. If I try to give you a hug, you're like, no. But that's what you do to a cat, you huh? see? What? You, you hug, hug a cat, cat. <laughs> but you wouldn't cuddle one. <laughs> <laughs> I am a very affectionate but you're, man. You're like a fucky and chucky type guy. That's He's, what on earth what? are you a talking about? Chuck you. Just <laughs> no. see you later. No, no, no. <laughs> Feel him, fuck him, forget him. No. I didn't Listen, come up with that. No, no one does. No, no one plays like five Eastern European cities a month unless they're running from something. <laughs> <laughs> or running towards something. You get up and you're like, put up that wall. They're coming for me. <laughs> no, no, no. No, but Paddy's got. There's a kindness to Paddy's eyes. There's a. There's a softness. That's what they say. There's a gentleness. There's like, listen. No, yeah. no. Listen. There's women across the world that that, that have experienced the the kind embrace of Paddy Young, but none of them feel neglected afterwards. You're. You he know, gives them the. T- Time in the room, he, he gives them his attention. Now this He's is weird. I don't like yeah, what you're the hell already, you you're like already thinking about the next one. Where you're already, you're on to the next where, ball, where next the hell ball, are you next going ball. Right. This fucking Mike, Mike. Uh, uh, erotic novel of Paddy Young. Leave it out over here. Mike, Mike uh, Rice, when he's got his cock in his left hand, his right hand starts winking at him. <laughs> 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 Listen now, this is this is this is a fucking trade. For one thing, you're just blindly backing up Paddy's little propaganda campaign over here. Everything you said could have been said about Ted Bundy. <laughs> Every single fucking thing. Oh, he, he was, was a good guy though. Huh? Deep down. Deep down, he was. Listen, he was so handsome. Yeah, before it came time to to doing the, the business, those women were treated like well, queens. Do you know what I think part of it is, and you can agree with me on this. Yeah, I think part of it is we are provincial folk. We're countrymen. We're from, and and the thing that's the thing that's always killed me about moving to the city is people are so much better looking here. Like where I'm from, you'd maybe see a good looking, like a really good looking person, like. Once every few months. Yeah. You, must, you must have been causing people to faint, were you? No, people no, not. I mean, I didn't like get puberty until I was about 24, so I was fine. There's <laughs> one hot lady in, the, in every town. Yeah, like, it's in, in every carriage, village. You yeah. Go, and then yeah. you go back to your turnips. We, but in cities everywhere you turn. Uh, uh, but then in uh, Manchester, uh, uh, I moved to one. Manchester. Maybe that's, it's, you know, a city, so it's more good looking, but it's, you know, still in the north, so it's quite ugly. So yeah. maybe every few days you'd see someone. There's still a stench. And now every time you get on the train, every time you get on the tube, you see someone, you're like, I'd kill myself here. Right. Yeah. And this yeah, is what yeah, I'm yeah. talking about, your horniness, your willing, your suicidal that's ideation comes into it. That's your, not suicidal. That's not that's a horniness. Romantic. Would you ever... This is romance. What? He's a romantic. He's not if a horny said, devil. If, if, if this, you're if a he, horny devil, you're not killing yourself for anyone. What the hell are you talking about me being a horny devil? <laughs> what do you know about me being a horny you devil? See a handsy, you see a handsome woman and think, I want to kill you. <laughs> Paddy sees it. He goes full Sean Paul and he wants to kill himself. I wanna, is that Sean Paul? Yeah. Sean Paul? Yeah. No, no Sean... Um, 
You're thinking of the fat fucker. Yeah. The Jamaica the beautiful, beautiful girls. girls. Is that not Sean Paul? No, no. way. You Sean Is Kingston, you Sean dumbass. Kingston. Where the hell are you taking Paddy? So you're such a flu. They got Listen, me suicidal, uh, suicidal. But you've never been suicidal for anyone. Lad, I've been nothing but suicidal. <laughs> I'm the only one on this fucking couch who goes to therapy and takes oh, antidepressants. Shut the fuck up. So quickly. I'm a good, sensitive boy. This guy, <laughs> this is a fucking cad. This is like fucking weather burning poor things. He's, an, he's a complete disgrace. No way. <laughs> he's running the biggest scam in London. Um, <laughs> he's a one man fucking Nonsense. whorehouse. Rubbish. Now, listen, he's his own man. Damn. Not at all. <laughs> uh, no, uh, but uh, tell me this, Pat, because I, I do want to hear what you have to say mm. about. So we are co- we're country boys. We're men of the earth, the soil, the wind, the yeah. sun, mm-hmm. the rain, the wind. Now, you come to you come to a city, yeah, and you still have these uh, nature, the, the urges of nature, yeah. you know, inside Monkey you. desires. And and what, what like what do you what do you how how do you find it? different or operating in, in this concrete jungle? Are you oppressed? Definitely. Yeah. You know, if you like stifled now, by the tall buildings? I was in the dentist the other day in the waiting room. There was, all the posters on the wall had like more beautiful women on it than I'd ever seen in my entire time up in Scarborough. I was, get, I was taking them down. I was like, I was like, a, I was like an Orthodox Jew on a plane. I was like putting. <laughs> this is a dentist. Why buddy? is the dentist got like pen ups? <laughs> no, but you know, like the magazines and it's got people with like their, their teeth out and. Their right. teeth out, those sluts. Yeah, too stimulating. So are you saying that the magazines in the north have, have what? There's like cows on the front page. Is it like what are you? No, it's just like buxom maidens, not not quite. You know, like hot London fuck ladies. Do you know what I mean? Like a buxom maid, like like uh, First what's of all, we her don't name? Really have dentists in the north, right? Not really. I haven't been really. to the dentist You're in vets. many months. He's much more like the milkman, to be honest. Okay, <laughs> so you can come around your house and give you a filling. But <laughs> in, in the north, the kind of the vet does everything. Is that right? Like, the, like you'd send, you'd yeah. go to the vet. Yeah. Maybe so if you do, get, if he does like, if you do like horses and dogs, you do blokes. You do paddies. Yeah. And right. if you do, and if you do sort of cats like, and peacocks, you do women. Women. Yeah. Right. Okay, that makes sense. Um, the four main animals: horses, dogs, <laughs> cats, peacocks. <laughs> <laughs> okay hello are oh. you ready for the ad read that we forgot to do so yes. now it's getting put in uh, extra lee and um, huh. let me make sure we're on the right levels lovely um Ooh. are you ready for a <laughs> what i would call a yeah. questionable uh st patrick's day themed huh. manscaped ad in which i'm supposed to have the fucking uh, hat. the i'm not supposed to have a hat on i don't think I, although it's fucking close I, jesus christ i haven't read this yet and it's right. fucking bad okay i'm gonna get the wash bag and we're about to lose a sponsor bye wash bag it's the fucking manscaped thing. oh what did they what did they send you like um right I hold this on. Hold the thing. Let you be the you be the Debbie. Right, Debbie McGee. Yeah. Okay. Magician's assistant. All right. Here we go. Yeah, okay. Go are you ready for the very questionable? Yeah. Do ad? it. There's a Can't Patrick's wait. Day themed ad that we're doing without the man called Patty, who is the guest on this week's episode. <sighs> you ready? Yeah. I'm going to read this exactly as it's written. Do what you want. Top of the morning to you. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Manscaped. Cop on now. That's mad. <laughs> That's like having someone who's a Chinese New Year, the first line being ching chong, ching chong. <laughs> you can't do that. No, but genuinely. Oh, That's insane. <laughs> Why can't, That's not right. Oh, what? Yeah, no, it's no. On. Yeah, no, I'm just checking and making right. sure it's not. We'll carry okay, on with it. Okay. <laughs> Top of the morning to right. you, exclamation mark. Yeah. This episode is brought to you by the St. Patrick's Day Shamrock Shavers. Manscaped TM. This year, don't just chase rainbows. Make your own pot of gold. What? And, and, but I, I guess they, they, they've sent this to everyone, but they didn't realize that everyone. we're Irish people. Yeah, they've sent this to everyone. This is the right. St. Patrick's Day read. Yeah. Make your own pot of gold and groom your little leprechaun. So they're calling a cock a <laughs> leprechaun. Your cock is your little leprechaun. Your balls are the pot of gold. With the leaders. This is good stuff. <laughs> this is good stuff. We're getting paid to do this. This isn't. We're not getting paid yet. This huh? is still the trial. Oh, it's still the trial, is it? This is actually really good. It's actually. Really, it's good writing. 
and they're actually just genuinely clever guys working in their marketing department so I like it I like that you've worn shorts short enough that <laughs> you can actually see the, eff- the efficacy of Manscaped you can Manscaped. see look at, look at the little leprechaun <laughs> shaved within an inch of its life from Manscaped it's never looked more uh, childlike or beautiful <laughs> Uh, Grim your little leprechaun with the leaders in below the kilt care. So now what they've done is they've got <laughs> Scotland mixed up with Ireland. I mean, I don't know what's gone on there. They're like, who's ever writing the? You'd have to assume this is somebody's job to write these. Yeah, it must be an Amer. Only an American could be like, and mm-hmm. yeah, you guys pull your kilts up and you know give those Irish balls a little trimming. Yeah, pull your Irish kilts up and... Uh, okay, say goodbye to your clover forest with Manscaped's Lawnmower 5.0 and let your confidence shine bright. Embrace the luck of the Irish and join the 10 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped. Head over to manscaped.com and use code PARENTING for 20% off and free shipping. Clover forest? Yep. Yeah. That's what they call in your pubes, <laughs> is your clover forest. <laughs> what happens in for Dead bodies are found no, in forests. No, yes. No, 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 That's no. what happens. People bury dead people in forests. It's a terrible... Mike, what? We need money. I don't want it. <laughs> I told you this before. I think it suits us better if we're both impoverished. And I think then that way we can connect with the people. If we get money, we're going to start buying new toasters and we're going to have... <laughs> fresh pairs of socks and we won't be able to connect with common people anymore so f- fuck this nope. bullshit no nope. no no buy thank it. you buy, buy it. it please kilt. do buy it hey you, uh, the irish pull up your irish kilt and fucking have your genitals look like a child's do Go you on. have a funny grooming misadventure or life uh, or, or 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 life bef- or what i cut my balls once yes what how, how did that happen huh how did that happen? I was just, I was trying to, uh, I was trying to shave him, but I was used a, uh, like an actual sh- razor. Yeah, wet shaver, shaver type yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just said, fuck it. And I just went, Arr! and I cut my balls and my balls were bleeding. And I said to myself. They bleed a lot, don't they? Huh? When you cut your balls. Your balls do, yeah. They get very fucking, uh, they get very dramatic and they're like, I'm bleeding. And so they were just bleeding off, off down there. And I said to myself, do you know what? I'm never going to shave my balls and stuff again. It's too dangerous until Ever Manscaped. Ever since you found Manscaped. Manscaped and their... Uh, Do you want to read that bullet point? Yeah. Ever, si- Ever since I've used Manscaped, I can proudly say I found my pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. <laughs> that means I've, I've found... I've got rich. I've become rich ever since I found Manscaped <laughs> because I've sold pictures of my bald uh, cock and balls on the internet for thousands. Because everyone on the internet, nobody can find a clean shaven pair of balls on a cock oh and a shaft. <laughs> Adult wise, of course, there's the other stuff, but that's not legal. But for an adult to have a hairless cock and balls, this is worth big money, especially in the Middle East. They haven't found this technology, so I've become rich. <laughs> me, rich. Me, your new lucky charm for St. Patrick's Day, the Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra. Look at that, oh, little it's fucker. Not, it's not in the thing. Ah. Oh, it's in my other wash bag. If your father is asleep on St. Patrick's Day, do something nice for your mother. Go in <laughs> under the cloak of darkness and shave his cock and balls. This trimmer comes with two interchangeable next-gen skin-safe blade heads. One for a classic trim and the new foil blade to go smooth wherever your heart desires. That's what you were talking about, smooth I said baby. something about smooth. Smooth jazz. <laughs> that's what I call... It- uh, but that's what I call having sex with a hairless cock. Smooth jazz. Equipped with dual LED <laughs> spotlights, navigate your shamrock patch in peace. Huh. Worried you'll make a mess? Fear not, this wonder is waterproof. That is actually sweet. That's so sick. So if you're swimming and you look down and you're fucking have these disgusting hairy genitals, you'll say, fuck it, I'd like to shave my balls, but I don't want to come up for air. That's lame. And they've gone... I want to do it underwater like, a, like a fish. They've gone a bit... They've gone back to the... Right. Shave by the misty moors, under a waterfall, or even during a rain dance. Right. Do they think that we have <laughs> got electricity in Ireland? Do they know that we... That the radio has come to Ireland? Do they realise that we are not... <laughs> agricultural animals 
that we, that we're not like being fed by our English overlords like fucking cattle in a field. What is going on? Like I love you, manscaped. Hey, baby, give us the money, but <laughs> someone needs to be fired. And it's not us. I'll tell you that. It's, it better not be us. It fucking weird. better not be us. We're I swear to God. We're fucking proofreading right I now. want to have so- be able to four socks that match. Look at this shit. <laughs> oh, God. Right. Its compact case makes it an ideal companion ready for any adventure or last minute plans. Trimming the hedges in your Irish garden isn't mm. just for below the belt. Complete the look with Manscaped's sig- signature Beard Hedger Pro Kit and Handyman Electric Face Shaver. Whether you're sculpting your beard or cleaning up your neckline, these are always the right tools for the job. Get 20% off and free shipping with code PARENTING, parenting. at manscaped.com. That's 20% off and free shipping with code PARENTING at manscaped.com. This St. Patrick's Day, make sure your little hairy leprechaun is luckier than ever. You didn't have to say little. I mean, why are you saying, you, you could have said <laughs> big, 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 massive, hairy juicy, leprechaun. hairy leprechaun. <laughs> That's above average and satisfies women. So this is what yeah, I will say. You wouldn't want it any bigger. You wouldn't yeah. want your leprechaun to be any bigger, no, I don't think. No, you certainly wouldn't. But this is what I'll say. With Manscaped. It's Patrick's Day. Um, you know, it's the Irish Day of the year. Uh, uh, the thing is, if you are found, and this is genuine, around the London area anyway, because that's where we are, but we have little sleeper cells around Europe. If you are found, and we have a lot of women working undercover uh, for us, a lot of promiscuous women, and if they decide to bed you and they find you have a hairy cocker balls, and this is no joke... We will get together with hurls, pieces of timber, and beat you to death. And that's not a joke. That's a promise. You will be bet to death. Your body sent to your mother. And this is it. If you do not get landscaped, part of your body man, sent to your mother. Man, the other part, man, you said landscaped. Did I say landscaped? No. <laughs> not. I don't want you to get into gardening. Gardening's for cowards. Be a man. Shave your balls. Shave your dick. Shave your asshole if you're gay. Or if you're not gay and you just want to see if something fits up there. Do it! Please! We need the money. Don't be a hairy little freak down there who everybody hates and wants to see get poisoned by the Russians. No! Get the fucking shit. Give us the money. I'll get matching socks. He'll get an operation to reduce the size of his head. This can't be sustainable, this level of growth. (laughs) He's gonna to have to move to a bigger apartment. More money. This is not. This is not a joke. Buy it. Stop being. That's please. the end of the manscaped ad. Back to the Thank episode you. with Paddy Young and Paddy Joe. Young. Bye. But now, and, and but what do you think? Like, cause, cause I'm, uh, I'm reluctant to call myself like a city boy. But you're I grew up in the like the suburbs of Belfast. You, so it's like the suburbs of, of a small city. You're not a man of the earth. We would have buried. We would have buried you down the bog. At age five or six. Yeah. You'd have walked into our local pub and we'd have just smelt the cologne and the, yeah. and the, and the bath water. I would have killed you with a shovel. Like the, as like the runt of the litter? Absolutely. I would have killed <laughs> I would have killed you with a shovel and there would have been a circle of people cheering me on and I would have been a hero for it. Like her. those Chinese people who were watching the naked bike ride? Very similar, yeah. yeah. They were just around. They're just there. 100 Chinese students. How did you get here? <laughs> and Paddy, stop, stop. Yeah. That's what the accent. Stop being Chinese, stop. stop. <laughs> Why is Paddy doing a Chinese accent? No, oh, stop. That's not Chinese. because I'm an empath. Stop. stop. <laughs> <laughs> he mirrors his surroundings, yeah. Um, <laughs> the see, on the, back on the naked bike ride thing, yes. just while we're, we're kind of glancing across it, I, 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 I don't think there's a gender that that's comfortable for. Because the fella is like, is it one ball either side of the seat? Must be horrible. The seat kind of splits a different. Like, blah, 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 yeah. blah. But then, like the the women, it's got to be like saddle on dude action. But you're right. It is like they're showing off, aren't they? The nippers. Well, just to do a naked bike ride. No, there's but element, I think there's an element I, of like. I don't think they're the 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 hottest people. That they're I didn't doing. say that. They're the most confident. But have you ever been to a nude beach in England? Yeah, it's never the people you want it to be. No, yeah, there are people. True. There are people who get a little. They get thrill. a little trill out of just like peekaboo. Look at this yeah. shite. But there was. I remember we went to one when I was a kid, and we and then when, as we walked past, the guy just stood up, and my mum was like, "Why did he need to stand up?" Right. You know, he was like, you know, have him yeah. however far away from us. But as we came past, he just they're like there. they're like shock humor oh, comedians. They just want a response of any sort. Yeah. <laughs> Nah, they're fine with that as long as it's getting a reaction. Exactly. Because they're never getting like, ooh. They want the ooh, but that they know they're incapable of getting that. And there's a bit yeah. of a trill to just 
sh- flashing your bum. I remember when I was, I remember when I was young. I probably I was only about seven or eight. Mm-hmm. I'd say, but even at that time, you're kind of like, you're obviously not fully sexual yet, but you just you have there's an inkling in your mind that it'd be fun to. Do you know what I mean? Rub up against something. Mm. But I remember I was just out in the middle of my farm and there was no one around. So I just pulled my pants down and I started shaking my bum. <laughs> and I just remember I remember being absolutely electrified yeah, yeah. by this whole experience. Just to nobody? Huh? You mooned nobody? I mooned nobody, but I just it was just oh. a sheer devilment of it all. I was just literally there, no one around, pants around the ankles, and I was wiggling it. And then I pull up my pants. That's and I, amazing. And, and if I, a boy moons in an empty forest, yeah. was it indecent? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Cut to twenty years later. I'm in the the shopping center, Lilac Center in Dublin. <laughs> I do it again. And <laughs> you guys don't different understand story. nature. <laughs> yeah. This is a different city. That's the city. You know, there's That's no the, respect for a man well, trying to moon nobody. Well, it's oppressive. But there was that thing of like, uh, you know, just to. Uh, being nude was a was a gallery. Sure, you, I mean, listen, you you were obviously you took it a step too far with the with the milk thievery. But um, mm. I, I feel like you were probably a big moon boy when you were young, like mooning people. I remember there was the boys at the back of the bus on the way to like a school trip. They would like wave at the people in the car just behind the yeah, bus, yeah. and then bang, it's asses, a face full of asses. No, do you know what's funny? I wasn't that kind of stuff. I was. I would do it when I was on my own, but like in my heart, even when I did it on my own, it's like if people found out about this, I'd be finished. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It'd be all over for me. So for you, Moonin was like playing the recorder. Yeah. You did it for your own development. <laughs> when they asked you to do it in church, you were like, no, this no. is it's for me. It's for me, yeah. <laughs> Plan for yourself. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no. Like but, when Miles Davis later in his career turned his back to the audience. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, but you could do that. <laughs> yeah. Miles Davis. <laughs> uh, uh, but I um I remember actually at that time I was doing a, did you ever have like a, a little child, like a little child romance, a little child love when you, you were, when you were a child, when you were a child <laughs> yeah. and they were 35 years of age um, and they recently got their pension. No, when I was seven <laughs> yeah. and then I remember I was doing this musical, uh, Joseph's Technicolor Dreamcoat. Yeah. Who did you play? Huh? Were you Joseph? <laughs> no way, lad. No, we were just you the, were the coat. Huh? <laughs> 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 I was the moon. <laughs> I was just in the background with my bum out. Uh, so uh, no, we were just the, we were the kids. We were like a kids ensemble. So it was like uh, oh, an adult production. You were doing that. Ah, uh, yeah. You were big. Uh, uh, awesome. I'd love to see. It. Whoa! Uh, <laughs> it was it was the best. It was the best time of our lives. Far away. Um, yeah. So um, what? That's a great one, Joseph's Technicolor Dream Coat. It's sick, lad. Give but, me uh, my colored coat, coat of color. <laughs> if musicals come up, he really, this <laughs> he, is when he, he comes, comes alive. alive. Yeah. Finding Nemo, um, the B movie, or musicals, and he just starts. So, <laughs> you know, he just. He's stimming. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. He's good stuff. <laughs> yeah. good. They're all good. I don't know what I've done wrong here. You've done nothing wrong. Nothing wrong. <laughs> You've done nothing wrong. You, again, we don't, say, we don't use those terms anymore. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> we used to say it was wrong, and now we go, it's different. Yeah. He's, we say things like, it is what it is. I just don't want to have to see it. I used to have yeah. a t shirt with the full script of the B movie on it. Like right. every word that's said in it on the front, hmm. very small text. Yeah. And what do you think that telegraphed to this girl that you're trying to pull through a straw pedo? <laughs> <laughs> I was dressed as a straw pedo trying to pull this girl and then I got naked. Uh, <laughs> no, I thought that was it just because it just looked like a white t-shirt with kind of blurry text on it. Mm-hmm. Nice. But it looked really close. It had all the words that Seinfeld said. Yeah, it was written by Seinfeld, wasn't it? I think he just started it. I don't no, know I if he moving. wrote it. Oh, yeah. really? Because yeah. it was a bit of a stinker, wow. wasn't it? Ah, absolute stinker. Have you watched it again? Huh? Have you watched it? It's, it is ridiculous. Ma- when Lady could... Falls in Love with B? Yeah. It's a tough, it's a tough sale. But Seinfeld... The kind of internal logic of the B movie is tricky. Seinfeld was going out with a, a 17-year-old when he was 38. So, mm. listen... You know what I mean? Yeah. He's, he's got... He doesn't think there's anything wrong with a woman and a bee. He's got high hopes, you know? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. His lines are blurred. He's like, yeah. he shows that film and he goes, so it's all right for a woman to go out with a bee, is that what you're saying? <laughs> so if a woman can go out with a bee, then... I can sure, go, go out with an A-level <laughs> <with an A-level laughs> well, You like that, so why can't you like that? <laughs> uh, and also, so, the IDF, big fans. <laughs> that's yeah. Seinfeld's vibe these days. Oh, yeah. Well, that's <laughs> right. Photos with them well, and all. Well, he's over in Israel just getting... Is he now? No, he, no, he went was. over and was just just got like a shot with him and just like some lad who's fucking killed twenty people and Seinfeld was like, 
you know, signing off on it. Bananas. And he's a billion. Do you know what? He he can he he deserves something to soften his cough. He deserves like a good <laughs> solid tumor or something. Uh, <laughs> but then what makes you know it, or just something to really put manners on him because he's what, been cocky for a long time. Yeah, but he ha- he is responsible for one of my favorite uh, videos of all time, which is when Kasha tries to hug him. Yeah. Have you yeah. seen when Kasha tries to hug Seinfeld? It's like when I tried to hug you. Yeah. No, thank you. Yeah. I liked it when he was on Larry King and Larry King was like, have you seen that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And he was like, you should have cancelled. He can't believe yeah. it. It's like you're the richest man in the world. Right. And you're being interviewed by like the most famous interview in the world. And he just says a thing and you can't let it go. Yeah. Oh, did that? Did you finish that show? Was it cancelled? Yes. Cancelled? <laughs> Larry, we were the biggest show on TV. <laughs> Cancel. Like, you can't. It truly, you know, for like a week after that, he's just in bed. Cancelled. Um, and then he would look to his left in bed and there would be a 17 year old and he'd go man things could be worse <laughs> <laughs> he would read well, his, Larry King thing go, will he? <laughs> he, would, he would read his girlfriend a story before bedtime <laughs> yeah uh, he'd read this t-shirt <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> but the, in the Joseph Technicolor right so there was this I, I had this um, and I think this affected me for years there was this girl right it was like she was also like whatever we were like seven in the children's and, chorus uh, she was in the children's chorus like that we did our little thing and we'd all be dressed up in our makeup and everything and and anyway I like I liked her mm-hmm. and, but I didn't even know what that kind of really meant but anyway one time we were we had finished like a rehearsal and they were bringing us to get like like chips and pizza and all this shit yes. you know and so that's Eddie wrong. Rockets where are we going Wouldn't have been no Rockets, no 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 just like a chipper chip yeah, in yeah, Ireland yeah, like yeah, just yeah, an yeah. old greasy spoon of a place yeah, yeah. so we're on the way there and I'm already just buzzing because of that and I said I'll, I'll make my move at so seven we, years old. At seven years old. And he's claiming not to be the horniest man in the room. <laughs> but another seven year old. It was a, this was a fair fair play. I, still but still horny. Huh? Still yeah. horny at well, seven. I wasn't horny, horny at seven. Horny for love, companionship, affection, you know? Horny not to be alone. Yeah. But um so we're walking along and I went to my move was to grab her hand. Mm. Like so that we'd hold hands. Just go, right. just go up to him, grab yeah, it. No, 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 but uh, grab it and but like to slip my hand in and like, so now we're holding hands and I went like that to grab her and she just, and she just went, Ugh, and she just went, what are you doing? And then I just, oh. I remember to this day to just, Ugh, the shame, the shame, like to just utter. And then I just had to let them walk on a bit. Yeah. And then just kind of slowly toddle <laughs> yeah. him past. And then I was like, I'll have two battered sausages. You know, like yeah. I had to order a double because yeah. I was to, trying to dr- drown the pain. But I suppose I'll suppose i have to do this to 800 women now for the rest of my life. <laughs> <laughs> but like, I mean, if it was today, I'd just immediately join a Reddit thread and be like, fucking bitches. You know what I mean? Like, just go full red pill. But Yeah, but back then... Dad, you, did there you was ever, no red pill. Andrew Tate wasn't, wasn't a thing yet. You could have done with Andrew well, Tate, Tate on that day. Well, Tate could have guided me in that moment, yeah. To like just to to sweep the leg, yeah, or just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's funny dating advice. You go for yeah. the handle. If they don't go for it, sweep the leg. Yeah. Just fucking doof. take the leg from under the fucker. Yeah, but um, <laughs> or just you know buy like I suppose at that age of seven, maybe buy a big fucking souped up bicycle or you know what I mean. Mm. Whatever it could be a little tykes van, right. Right. Early learning center. Because if you think of like Tate inspired children, they would have like. What's the Bugatti of a seven year old? A flip, right. a flip pop? Or maybe like, like a. Did some you have sort flip pops? Why is that? A flip pop? Yeah, it goes up. It's a plastic Which, thing and it's yeah. got a lolly in it. Do you have flip pops? No. <gasps> flip pops. So it's like a little plastic container thing and then you press the button and go, Wah! and a lolly appears. Oh, and like, you could, I can lick lolly, 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 and then it would go back in and you could save it for later. I think this is added to your Finding Limo and. B movie. <laughs> <laughs> wow, flip pops are great. I know, but you said it. You know, that's right. But flip pops are so cool. I know, but you described like the train the, set. That you but have. the problem with like <laughs> yeah. a, but the problem with a lolly. And then the flip pop goes up and then it goes down and then I'm happy. <laughs> 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 and then it's orange and it's purple and it's green. But I do not have the green ones unless it's a Wednesday and then I cannot have it. <laughs> but then the problem. But, you, but you, you must agree that the problem with a lolly is the time commitment. Yeah, I, I mean, I haven't, I haven't thought about the downsides of lollies for a long time. <laughs> when I'm in it's a sweet just, shop, I'm, I'm not looking yeah. at my calendar. I'm not yeah, like, oh. because I also, obviously you're just like the, the, the pros and cons of lollies, yeah. the <laughs> downsides, <laughs> the length of lolly that it would Don't take. Stop to, economic, however, yes. mm, long chew, this enjoy not, chewing feeling. <laughs> is this? Like, have you ever considered that a lolly takes a long time to to complete? I think no. it, I, I never go for an, a lolly. 
Right. Sure. It's like the difference between a can and a bottle of something. A bottle of something, you can put the lid back on and put it in your pocket, but a can, you're committed to that can for the until it's, better, until it's it? done. Yeah, because it, it, it just... It, a it, can of Pepsi Max, I would take over 50 bottles of Pepsi Max. I think right. I would generally say that if I'm walking about and someone was like, "Drop this can of Pepsi Max or 50 <laughs> bottles of Pepsi Max, I would go, I think uh, like the can. True. But financially, this is a silly choice. And said... I would take the 50 bottles of Pepsi Max. Yeah, so would I. I like the <laughs> 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 You, that was nasty what you did to Paddy there. I didn't know. I don't know why I'm trying Paddy. to be an autistic guy on maths. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm on but his own turf. But the flip pop is the bottle of the lolly world. Because normally you're committed to the lolly until it's over. But the flip pop, you can put it away, eat it a week later. Yeah. Like a, a cigar. later. Yeah, like a cigar. You're like that girl from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory that kept the chewing gum behind her ear. Violet You don't Beauregard. start a lolly again after a week. No. I'll... Why not? I certainly, even if it's in, even if it's in. It's just sugar. It's preserving itself and its own sugar. No, I don't think you should do that. No, I just wouldn't. I, don't start whipping out a little fucking used lolly at things. It's You've already, you've enough PR battles why, why, to fight yeah, as like it is. It's like a self-inflicted timeshare on a snack. Yeah. But, oh, I get to, I get to enjoy this uh, every other day. Right. Just to have, just buy, but have a candy that's nice and then have another candy two days later. Yeah. Stop. It's like you're keeping like stocks and shares. <laughs> yeah. I'm investing in the flip yeah. pop. Yeah, just because it's also like, I don't think it's going to help just the, the general, you know, the, the narrative if you're just whipping out used lollies. But they're not used lollies. They're, well, they're, it is used. It's, it's been yeah. licked already. It's, but it's, it's like eBay. If you were selling it, it'd be used good condition, right? Like new. Yeah. No, I don't think it's like new. I'm a, I'm a, so yeah. I've got a good Your lick. saliva has been on this lolly for yeah. a week. Your spit. It's gone rotten. It's gone mank. What's wrong? No, no my what? spit's okay. I don't think it is like. Not for a week. A week. A week. A week. Get what? real. It's disgusting. Your spit's just like water. You know? You're whipping out an old fucking smelly saliva <laughs> so lolly. <is> urine. <laughs> yeah, just get a second lolly. Uh, Why you... Do you think I should piss on the lolly? <laughs> so, I thought your tour dates were selling quite well. <laughs> yeah, why are, you, why are you storing lollies for a week? <laughs> yeah. You don't need to do this. Move on. You're, you're acting like you're, this is World War II, like that the rations are... Mm. Right. No, but are you I just are like you can come back when you're on the road. <laughs> it feels like a luxury rather than some kind of like scavenging thing. It feels like oh, I'll have a little bit of lolly and then I'll have some later. It feels like I'm just um, stop eating fucking lollies. You're fucking nearly thirty. I'm not nearly thirty. Yeah, yeah. What? What? No. Yeah, I'm, I'm twenty-seven. Huh? That's not nearly thirty. Well, it's what? Okay, name name the the decade that you're closest to then. <laughs> Go on, you do it quick. What, the twenty tens? What? No, you're near thirties next. Very 30 close. Is next, yeah, yeah. 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 You were young and promising and now you're a husband. No, not a husband. I mean you're doing all right, Talking so it's just not, lollies. It's not impressive anymore. But I mean? this stopped being fun quite quickly, didn't yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> you both kinda came for me about my lolly discussion. Well, no, the lollies the lollies a bit it's a bit much. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I thought that was, we were going to just dip into lolly chat and then come back out again. But you really, upset us with the you've lolly got thing. stuck on the flip pop. But this is the country versus the city. This kind of city folk do that. I'm sure yeah. where you grew up, everyone had like you know, yeah, dry aged lollies in their in their bags. Dry aged lollies, yeah, like it's a ham. For us, we wouldn't get a chance. You'd have to you'd have to finish the lolly on the spot out of pure fear, right? If anyone else that's right, ordered. If, if so, you found out that someone else in the village had a lolly in there, was bedroom, hoarding right, lollies. It yeah, it'd be over. Yeah, yeah. The whole house would be, your family would be assaulted and it'd be a bloody it'd mess. Be like, it'd be like when you put a ring on your finger and all the rings. That, yeah. That everyone else would just feel. <laughs> There's an orange lolly in that house. Ah! Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, speaking of lolly, my birthday. What about that? Speaking of lollies. Yeah. Nice. Um, my, but yes, it was your birthday. Happy, happy birthday, birthday for that. Yes. I bumped into Ramesh uh, at the train station and she informed me that she'd just been on your birthday thing and uh, she had quite a, an entertaining side of the story of your birthday time that well, you we went did together. A I did a great day now. A great mm. birthday day. We went to the 1975. 1975. I did, an, isola did an isolation tank. Yeah, I did a float tank like Joe Rogan. Oh, yeah, really? I did, yeah. What's that like? Well, it's a fucking cod. I mean, these people are <laughs> talk about stealing a living. Here, pay fifty quid there, this and you can. This is so great. The, uh, this you is can so lie in the great. Fucking I have, what is it, what, I have was the it girlfriend anything? side of this story just lodged in the holster, ready to go. What, right. what, what was it like getting in there? So it's, it's body temperature, is that right? So there's a lady named Bianca on reception. She doesn't. So you didn't. You didn't mind that, huh? <laughs> that was a great start. <laughs> I said. Paid for itself. Yeah. <laughs> Already, yeah. We're, we're we're leaving here with a win. She'd seen <laughs> him. At a, she'd seen him at a show in Ljubljana. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So she, she said it with a little boy that looked just like Mike. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So she uh, she was lovely. Um, 
she was a bit she was a bit flustered. She couldn't really believe someone had turned up, and uh, so she's, she's like, "Are you seriously going to pay for this?" We were like, this? "Yeah." <laughs> so we go in anyway. You, you know, they give you. So were you skeptical going in? No, I wasn't. And was it a surprise? Was this like part of the present thing? Was the well, no. The she, she had told me a week before because she was afraid I might like hate it. Yeah, I I'd, I'd buck a little bit like yeah. that. I'd be like I'm not doing that. So she had to tell me this one. So then you go in. And, she, you know, the rules that you lie in the fucking salt water, you're in this little pod, right? Um, then there's no noise, no light. You're just fucking lying there. It's meant to be like you're in the womb and, mm. you know, your your mind starts to uh, think of things and whatever. You invent things, I think, they expect mm. you to do. So, like, you go in and then there's no outside simulation. So, you, like, invent a new Type like the most boredom ever, just absolutely no stimulus. You just right, yeah, yeah, exactly. And so, fair, but like <laughs> my mom did one. You just, you just feel fuck all. Can yeah. see fuck all. Can, did you have music on? Huh? Some people have music on. Some people Fucking do silence. No way, lad. It's it's, it's it's a sensory deprivation tank. Music would. How long were you in there for? I was in an hour. Right. So you're you're floating in there now. The thing can is, can you have your phone? Huh? Can you have your phone in there? Yeah, and earphones and <laughs> and your laptop. Yeah. And you got and an, an Apple Vision headset. So you're watching the traitors on the roof of the But it's sensory isolation. deprivation. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so I was in there. I tell you what, um, when it all went dark first, I, I'd been a bit, I had a bit of anxiety in me that day. I'd been having a bad cough. I wasn't sleeping. I was up like a fucking dying dog for a few nights before. So I just like, so when it went black first, like part of me was like, Ugh. and there's a little Bianca button here. Where if you press it for eight seconds, Bianca she sucks come you in and, and just blow you in the dark. <laughs> that's, that's <a> <laughs> <laughs> just, just to relieve your anxiety. Every single, every single limb. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, and just um, so there's a little Bianca button there for if you get panicked. So there's a few times. So at one point, what I did was this was the mistake. I decided to do a Wim Hof breathing method. Mm -hmm. Now. I don't know if you've ever done one of these before. No. But oh, really? They are great. Find the 10 minute like tutorial on YouTube. It's really fun. It depends what you want to do, right? What they can do is if you're feeling like like tired or sluggish or you've came too many times, this one for you, <laughs> um, um, <laughs> then you can, <laughs> you can do the breathing method and it'll like tr tr oxygenate your blood and it'll get I mean, you like, makes, give you energy. It does. So how long does it last? Um, It'll it'll give you this little buzz, and then that'll last for a bit, and then obviously. So like the, a cigarette, huh? Like kind of like a cigarette, like tw ten minutes. That's minutes. right, but then like the dark, obviously sludge of and reality of life starts to seep in again, and again you're that whatever you're in your room, just, just <laughs> pulling yourself asunder, um, pulling your limbs off. But so, uh, sorry, lads. I was just saying Wim Hof helps my jaw tension. It like completely, it's the only thing that like fucking right. just does it. The problem is... And it's great, you wouldn't believe because you buy in, out, out, you fully in, fully out, out, fully in, fully, <laughs> fully in, fully out. And then you breathe all the way out and hold that for like a minute and a half, yeah. which you wouldn't think you could do on like no air in your body. Mm. But it goes mad. You get, like I've fucking nearly passed out doing it. It's really fun. So this is the thing. Which I, which, yeah, so this is what I don't think this was a wise instinctual move by you to go for the Wim Hof in the float tank. Here's the thing. If you're anxious before you do the Wim Hof mm. method, it just fucking throws petrol on that fire because you're upping the heart rate again. It does. Yeah, oh, it does, yeah. Oh. It so, ups your... Wim Hof ups your heart rate? Yeah, lad. It's, the whole thing is that it slows it down? No, not true. That's... Not true. There's different Wim Hof methods, lad. There's different ones which are like to relax and ones to fucking... Yeah, that's the Hof Wim. G up. <laughs> yeah. You're going to waff him. You're, you're out your element. You've made a fool of yourself. <laughs> Just go back. Think about the lolly thing. No. <laughs> no, lad. No, but seriously. The whole thing is controlling your heart rate and slowing it down. No, That's what no. Wim Hof says in the video. No, no. He's, he says, relax, yes. control and your heart rate, slow, slow it down. down. Have a good day. He's also in a nappy. His wife died. He hasn't got over it. It's a whole fucking... It's a whole thing. Yeah. He's, he, do you know... Oh, someone told me a story about Wim Hof. That he, uh, he used to do this thing. So he'd go... To whatever river and he'd jump in it mm. and uh, try to give himself pneumonia for half an hour but then he'd get out and he'd go to this there was this nozzle in a public park this in the Netherlands a Dutch woman told me this last night mm. and he would get the nozzle to just clean out his asshole so he would just like just go and he'd just stick it up his bum and like just clean his bum because I don't know if he was what he had planned to do for the rest of the day with his uh, I don't know what he's into but so anyway next thing they changed they put in a new nozzle on the 
this little hose. Yeah. So they changed the pump to make it like way more powerful, but like no one told Wim Hof. So he came in one day to clean his asshole. He shoves it up and he ended up puncturing his gut. <laughs> and he had to be rushed to hospital. And it's just like his whole asshole was fucking- Bleeding. In, what? Oh yeah, God, yeah, he was bleeding just bleeding out of his like, He's like, calm down. And you're sat there in a flotation tank panicking thinking, I know yeah. whose advice I need. <laughs> <laughs> the broken arse guy. Bianca, we're gonna need a bigger hose. <laughs> So, what I'd say to do is technique, where I was like breathing in and then holding and da, da da, and then my head got like light, and I just had like a panic attack, and I was like, "Oh fuck!" That I, is what when you, I bumped are you, are you into floating in the tank because there's lots of is there salt yeah, in it? oh yeah, yeah, it's full of juice. So are you just are you just laying on your back and you're yeah. just staying up? Yeah, and but the water is the same temperature as your skin, so it's yeah. like you can't really feel it. Apparently, you're, you're is you the just kind of vibe. easily on the top. Sort of yes, thing. yeah, absolutely. It's not like yeah, you're not going to sink. You're yeah, not going to sink, right? Sink. But you do get like, because you are just there, and you're na- you're as naked as the day you were born, and you're just floating. So, like, you do. There is an element of like you think about it. Has there ever been a room? This is more so now to, to Patty. But has there ever been a time where you've been in a dark room on your own for an hour that you didn't come? There probably isn't. No. No. So like, there is. Party, because when your mind can go anywhere, where mm. is it going to go? Yeah, he's always as horny as sin for half of it. The pants are already off, huh? The pants are already off. Oh yeah, and was it the horny? The hands, was it the, the hand is, is wet and buoyant? <laughs> oh, 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 where are you off to? Up ahead. <laughs> but is that what it was? Was the self restraint that caused you to panic? Um, Holding back from coming. Just you can't feel to... anything. You're like, it looks like someone's wanking someone else off over there. Part of, me, <laughs> part of me does think the solution in that, like the the water that you lie in, is just a mixture of water and everyone who's been in there has come. Yeah. You just kind of float on top of the the kind of sea of come yeah. in the dark. Well, this that's is... why they can't let you see it. That's why it's dark because you yeah. would just yeah. see all the come all over. Light. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's glowing. <laughs> It looks, like just, a, it looks like a bowling alley. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, lo- it looks like frog spawn. <laughs> There's just like the, just the bodies of like the corpse of like somebody's wanked themselves to death in there. You're like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Pressing the button. Yeah. Bet button in one hand, cock in the other. <laughs> Imagine like, like that going pressing the Bianca button while you were jerking off. Uh, yeah. <laughs> t- toes curled all the way backwards. It's come too much. <laughs> uh, but, uh, so anyway, but it was it was good. It was like yeah. I, I calmed myself down. It was fine. <laughs> it was and, good. Uh, I had a panic attack. It was good. Was well, it, was it? Did you think it? Um, like, what did, did you have any lasting like feelings or anything from it? Do you want to do it again? Um, I I would do it again. It would have been better if I hadn't. I had that day. I had a a fucking low little hum of anxiety, kind of running running the ship. So. That kind of but that's most days for you, you huh? know? It feels like there, it would be a rare day. It would be hard for you to book that in advance and be like, that feels like a day where I'm not going to be anxious. But I was I was a particular bag of spiders this day. Okay. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? It was particularly, you know, there's a lot of creepy crawlies inside. But, but do you, did you feel any benefits? Like, was there... Yeah, I think that definitely, because after a while, like the, you know, your beep, boop, 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 ah, brain has to shut off. Mm-hmm. And then you can only panic for a certain amount of time. That's right. You right. kind of run out of those hormones. Yeah, your brain can't do it. Um, yeah, it's apparently it's like forty minutes is like the longest you can have a panic attack. Oh, that's for. all right then. <laughs> and your body <laughs> just shows it. <laughs> <laughs> but like after forty minutes, you just kind of like it all just shuts down. It has, you have to go up. That's why because I think what this thing like the underlying hum is is basically there's a line at which once you're over that, you can only be there for a certain amount of time, and it all like dumps back out again, so and you're kind of you okay. Felt, like, really surreal. Like was there a point? Yes. In that? Yeah. And I tell you. After I got myself off the cliff of pressing the Bianca button, um, which I really didn't want to have to do, like Bianca, she's there, you know, she's a good girl. I didn't want her to have to come in and be like, I, I feel yeah. anxious, you know what I mean? No. Um, so once I got down off of that and then I settled in and and it started to subside, mm. then I was like, oh, it's like, you know, it's like when you lose your phone and then you find it. It's like you have to have the bad for the, to really appreciate the, the good, the yeah, the yin and the yang, yeah, exactly. Um, who you saw <laughs> crowded around those <laughs> naked cyclists. <laughs> anyway, but, but, that but, was uh, good. That was good. That was that pretty was good. good. Come on now, that give Mike really his due. But um, no, don't get anybody that. <laughs> <laughs> they weren't on this bike ride. They were in the tunnels. Uh, but so. <laughs> 
Jesus. <laughs> but as long as, Pat, as long as your reaction to the camera, like, yeah. I don't approve. I'm Richard Hammond. That's right. <laughs> yeah, we're like... <laughs> Uh, Jeremy <laughs> uh, But so then we went to the movie Zone of Interest We we got dinner then first At this Mission Star Restaurant This is was a mad day this Yes crazy. It was all lined up Then we went to Zone of Interest Which you, if you haven't seen, seen it, it yeah, it, I haven't it's, seen it It's amazing Don't It's spoil unbelievable it. it's I've heard it's great I'm excited to see it Right There, there won't be any spoiler alerts here But um, There was a place called Auschwitz Mm-hmm. But you'll have known of that, <laughs> and it wasn't. There was no lollipop holders. Oh. <laughs> Sorry about that. That was bad. Come in. Are we gonna watch Finding Nemo? Yeah. Yeah. We'll <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> find something. <laughs> um, and then Finding and- Shlomo. Ah, <laughs> oh, come oh. on, please, please, no. <laughs> Um, Everything I've said today has just gone down terribly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a real rough podcast. Ah, you're not, lad. You're not. You're no. not. You're not. Um, <laughs> you're 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 a good lad. And the lollipop stuff, we we were in the wrong to have a go at you about that. We were. We went too hard. We went too hard. And it was really a reflection on ourselves. We were projecting. Yeah. Because I've I. This is patronizing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'd be first in the queue for us. <laughs> but uh, anyway, you go to the and cinema, then, so then we go and cinema. then am we, I wrong in thinking you also went to the 1975? Yes. God, it sounds like hell. Let me. What a day! You no. float tank. You're yeah. watching Auschwitz movies. Uh, Mission you're going Star to Mission Star Restaurant. Star Restaurant. Really? Yeah. yeah. Mission Star Restaurant pre Auschwitz movie is fucking wild. Did you want to want a competition on like this morning? That sounds like you yeah. need to go. <laughs> go to All London expenses for the day. paid. Trip I, to where did you? It was like Essex. Where was it? Where where the where you did all these things? No, no, it was around Shoreditch. Um, so it was all around there, and then and because her uh, uh, Ramesh's friend works in the restaurant oh, so we got a load of this fucking shit Amazing. for nothing wow and it was like unbelievable what was the restaurant oh, called oh unreal um brat is the name of the restaurant oh i've been there have you they have the big big monk fishes like uh, hanging about like in the kitchen and shit yeah but yeah that's really yeah tasty. so you went there you thought you know actually having my senses deprived probably not as good as having them satiated yeah that's right yeah, yeah. 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 i mean i like feeling stuff yeah it turns out this is better yeah i mean this... tell you what i like experiences <laughs> yeah <laughs> where did you feel last at the, the the tank called the 1975 uh, <laughs> <laughs> 1975 would be a sensory deprivation tank for me i'd yeah. just be like <laughs> yeah that, that's where i'd go i'd, I'd, I'd start panicking for more than 40 minutes <laughs> <laughs> i'll be on lads i tell you right now tell me the 1975. This is the second time you've seen them live. I, this is right, this year. Wow. This year? How many times total? Uh, twice. Sorry, I only got into them the first time I watched them. They're now... Wow. Bandwagon. Maybe 4,000. Bandwagon. My favourite current band. Mm-hmm. Bandwagon. They're incredible live. Mm. I mean, unbelievable. Is it as much of... Because people say it's like part theatre show, part gig. That's right. Well, Matt, he has a whole little set. He's got a lot of ideas he wants to transmit to us. And, uh, to the teen girls in the audience. No, 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 no. Lad, you see, the thing is, this is, and I'll tell you a, a lovely little story about something that happened. So we were on, um, we did some MDMA. Mm. Just unbelievable. Can I interest. say... <laughs> We started coming up to her. Yeah, oh, this is awful. <laughs> <laughs> Although this is lovely Ra- God, <laughs> Rob, you, know, you know, I don't agree with what he did, but he looks after his family. <laughs> <laughs> he was a family man at the end of the day. And you respect that. Ramesh's side of the story is that the, the drugs didn't really work on Mike. Was her quote? No, it was just compared to her because she was at, she, she was, was climbing the walls. Like, oh, she was she was basically on stage. <laughs> you know, like she was cross, she was just gone. Yeah, she was on a different planet. Now I was she high. Checked her ID, then kicked her off. Yeah, <laughs> nine, nine, Two, oh, <laughs> nineteen. <You're bleh>. Right. <laughs> Wench, there's a shrew on the stage. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah hi- the shrew. <laughs> yeah. Um, nineteen seventy five is his age bracket. He won't uh, associate with. Yeah, <laughs> nineteen to seventy five. <laughs> <laughs> wants nothing to do with him. <laughs> Funnily enough, he'll go 18 and then 76 he'll start getting back. Because that's when they start to get smaller again. Yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. And they've got no teeth. He likes gums. Yeah. He's a big gum guy. Uh, oh, fuck. Uh, but, um, it was a good show, though, wasn't lad it? Lad, it's unreal. And but you were on MDMA. 
I was on MDMA, but I've seen them before. I loved. I I'm I'm a fan of theirs. Yeah. I think their songs are great. Mm-hmm. Um, and I like I like Matty Healy. I like his. I don't care what he's up to. He's obviously a bit of an idiot, but I'm getting on board with it. An unbelievable performer. He started like he's doing things where he's like, and this is obviously this is what you would. If, if there was no restrictions put on you, he was like, if you were not filled with shame and all your things, Me. you could be Matty Healy. Like you could, if you weren't. You've got the hair. You know, you know. You've got Matty Healy-esque hair. Self-aware. Mm-hmm. But he's just literally, he's up there and he's trusting. He's like pregnant, pregnant, pregnant. And he's saying that? Absolutely. Well, point at people. Well, just trusting at them. And oh. he's like, and we, and every, we're all like, ah. Because he told us at one point, and there's a lot of like, I would say like gay straight men. Like, and I'm including myself in that. And like people, Men that want to just go, like yeah. you know what I mean. And well, I, I love it, Mike. So this once again, this is so country boy. Right. Mike sees himself having a good time. Yeah, and he's like, is this gay? Hundred yeah. yeah. percent. Just enjoying, enjoying the band. yourself. And, <laughs> enjoying and, yourself. And, and, and it's like Matt. He read my mind because at one point he goes, he goes, listen, all the men in the audience right now. He's like, listen. You're at the 1975 already, so listen, you're already gay, so you might as well enjoy yourself. <laughs> did he yourselves. say that? Yeah, he did. That's yeah. so funny. He did. <laughs> That's so, so said, funny. You're already gay, so he's like, you might as well enjoy yourself, so you might as well say that. And I swear to God, I was around men, and they literally, every, <laughs> everyone just- loosened up. Just loosened up. Their people are just throwing their hips around. Like and a group of Chinese students next to you running to their camera. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These are not to get naked. Uh, but so at one point then, I goes to the- uh, Ramesh gives me her phone. My phone had died and she gives me her phone. She's like, go uh, like to the bar to get some drinks, right? And the bar is about maybe seven or eight minute walk away. So I just go down here to go get them. I get up to the bar. Where's the gig? Huh? Where's the gig? The O2. Wow. Um, it's packed. It was, f- it was, I can't, it was, it was amazing. amazing yeah. It was so good. Um, and like, I, if she, like Ramesh, like if Matty has said, like, if she's like, if he was like, hey, I'll shag it. And mm-hmm. I would have to be like, you have to go do that now. Yeah. Do you think you would? I, I think for Matt, like in that moment, you just, you'd be such a, I think you'd be a bad boyfriend not to be like, yeah, you've got to go. God. Like, you're not going to get that chance again to get to, you know. Uh, I think you will. Huh? I With think Matty. you will. He's shagging around. He's you- always about... Yeah, but if the, red, when the clock strikes available. 12 on your age with, you know... Turns back into a woman. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, but so but so I goes down to the bar, right, to get these drinks. Mm-hmm. And I walks down to, I order Two drinks. Two glasses of rosé, please. hundred <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> percent. And I, 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 now, I the, spike the, myself with raw hypnol, you know what I mean? I'm like, the and a bottle now, of milk. <laughs> God, the demographic of the 1975. The O2 have never sold so many fruit shoots in their life. Oh, lad. I but it, it was a license to be um, your gay. feminine it's self, and there it is. But yeah, gay. where you can just be like, "I'm in love with you," and you can just and mm. everyone's doing it, and no one's judging you, it's nice. and it's lovely. There is something really nice about it's that. It's so nice. Yeah. yeah. So. I go to the bar, I, I order drinks. But is it that not like that? You're, when you do the podcast live, everyone takes their helmets off. <laughs> <laughs> My side of the audience get very, um, they get very overwhelmed by Mike's side of the they audience. They get very frightened. Crushing the pocket, pocket calculators. <laughs> yeah, while, while the, the, these fucking like wood, like timber eating savages on the other side of the room. Like, what are you looking at? They're like, nothing. We I should do like, our like the orcs versus the elves. We should do our live show is like a wedding and yeah. like there's two yeah. sides of the room and you have to sit on one like That's Mike's right. side of Victoria's side yeah. yeah your side is just like rocks and boulders so they can just sort of <laughs> <laughs> they, they, can sit, they can sit underneath it like crabs like, ah, and my, right. my side's just like gaming chairs yeah. with like noise cancelling headphones on them it's like the sensory room yeah. in a special needs school instead of doing that like, like a slump poetry now, yeah they like do that like uh, mine has um, you know like mobiles that go above cots just like little yeah. spinning things <laughs> mine are like fucking Throwing Trying shit on the stage. Make fire. And, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like the opening of 2001 of Space Odyssey. Yeah. Your crowd will like actually evolving during the gig. Like, <laughs> and they we swim in as fish. We'll have a little crash for girlfriends. Yeah. <laughs> Just like, go off to the side somewhere. Why? Because, oh, because your fans are nonsense. Huh? Hmm? Oh, I didn't mean it like that. Why I didn't mean, mean it like that. I just meant to keep them occupied off the walls. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I get the confusion. Get, yeah. I get, get the them like wine and painting and stuff <laughs> like in the corner. Um, but so I ordered the, the drinks at the bar. The bar comes with the drinks and then they charge me whatever. 
then I can't remember fucking Ramesh's code, so I can't pay for the drinks, right? Um, so it's there, it's like, it's like whatever, it's like 25 pounds for two cups of water, and uh, <laughs> it's at the O2. Yeah, so classic. Anyway, I'm there, I'm like, oh, fuck's sake, now I have to walk back to the uh, other place. Then this, like, booze angel out of nowhere just comes up, I swear to God, and this is how he sounded, I'm not, and he just goes, he goes, don't worry, I'll pay for that. <gasps> Northern like, lad. Northern lad. Big, massive northern guy. Peter like, K showed up the uh, wrong day for his O2 gig. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll pay for that. Um, but, what were all that about? <laughs> yeah. So he comes over. 19. And, uh, 75. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, that's where my humor's from. Um, <laughs> that's where I got my jokes from. 1975. So uh, your man comes over, he goes, I'll pay for that. And, and I look over and it's just a big, like, hulking heavy set, like, northern guy. And I goes, oh, I goes, oh, no, man. Jeez, you can't uh, pay for that. And in my head, I was like, this couldn't be more perfect that you pay for it. So I'm not, I'm not going to protest too much. You push but back a little bit. To, I'll you throw back, back one protest. Bit. Are you sure? Yeah, I goes, oh, no, man, you shouldn't do that. You know, like, you shouldn't do that. Then he goes, <laughs> no, you shouldn't, tap, you shouldn't tap there. No, you shouldn't. <laughs> right? yeah. And then I go, actually, I turn back to the bars. I say, actually, can crisps we get well. more? <laughs> yeah, yeah, crisps and make that whiskey a double. But you really shouldn't. <laughs> yeah. So he goes, he goes, he goes, I'll pay for that. And I was like, this, I was filled with love. I was also on MDMA, you sure. see. And I goes, no, 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 you can't. He goes, I've got it. And I goes, Oh man, you're that's amazing. Then he just turned to me, just goes, Do you love this band? And I goes, Yeah. And he goes, Well, then I love you. And I'm getting you drinks. And I was like, Wow. wow. And like, as this was like playing, like one of their like, the, the like song, I don't know if you know, it's like, Maybe I would like you better if you took off your clothes. I just wanted to get like one of their most like, do, 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 do. So that's playing. And then, do you want know someone does something like randomly kind for you and yeah. you don't know how? It kills you. But you don't know how to. You're paralyzed. You to, don't know to, how to, to like yeah, yeah. make it back to them. You're like, should we exchange numbers? Do yeah. I? How do I? So I goes in anyway. It's like I, to give him a hug and a, like a kiss, right? Like just on the cheek. But oh. as I do it, he moved his thing a bit, and I just kind of kissed him on the side of the mouth. And then he was just. It, but Matt, you told us we could be gay, so it was kind of like we. He just kind of do it. Like a little bit, he's like, no, oh, don't worry about that. You know, he kind of immediately was like, I got you, and he started looking away as if kind of like. You go away now, you know. <laughs> I just kind of had to scurry off. As you went away, he's like, oh, come on. It feels, it don't feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't feel half bad, that. All right. That's crazy. I know, You've man. You've awakened something in that man. That's oh, so sweet of him. It was so sweet and kind. And uh, it's the and gayest shit I've ever heard in my whole oh, life. And man. you just kissing boys at a 1975 yeah, concert. Isn't yes. that good? That's, where else are you going to kiss a boy? <laughs> 1975 concert. Yeah. Matt, he literally told us we could. Halfway through yeah, the that concert. Is, that is, That's how he distracts all the boyfriends. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah so, so, <laughs> <laughs> He's really just like giving one he, pump each to he said everyone. To the, he said to the girls, keep your card in your pocket now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And they'll start buying each other drinks. Yeah. Na, 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 na. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, man, it was it was it was the time of my life, and there was two stages. So he would jump from being on the main stage up here. We didn't even know there was a second stage, and then we were beside this little kind of booth that there was like they were doing like tech out of. Mm -hmm. And next thing, like Matty just fucking disappears from the main stage. Everyone's like, "Where has he gone?" Next thing, he just pops up right beside us, and then, really? uh, yeah, wow. and then we, everyone was just going. Uh, ballistic. El ballistic. And I kept like, I would even find myself shouting, Mate! You know what I mean? Yeah. It's so insane. It's good that you give of... yourself to that mania. That's the amazing thing about being in a crowd, right? It's so fun. Yeah. Oh, you can see how the Nazis self. got where they got. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. 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 Just you seen... let yourself go. Good job you didn't, it's a good job you didn't see Zone of Interest afterwards. You'd have been like, <laughs> 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 Oh, fuck. Um, We've done an hour. We've done an hour. We've done well over. We've done loads. Paddy. Yes. You've you're got in stuff Belfast and you're in Liverpool on your tour. Yes. This I'm, is the focus. I'm on the tour. These uh, are the zones of interest. Yeah. I'm all, I'm all over the country. Most of it's sold out, but uh, still got tickets left in. Uh, wait, no, let me start that again because that's, that's not true. I've not sold out. 
Right. It's selling well. It's selling, it's selling well. well. It's right. selling really well. We're not doing any edits, Paddy. Just say whatever really? the fuck you want to say. Yeah. All right. I really want you to come to my tour. <laughs> it's selling so well. <laughs> uh, I'm doing Belfast on the 15th of March. And Limelight? At Limelight. Very good. Hot Water in Liverpool on the 16th of March. Very nice. And Manchester on the 17th of March. That's about to sell out. And then Newcastle. On Paddy's day. I know. Isn't that nice? It's your day. That's yeah. lovely. And then Newcastle on the 18th. Yeah. Stand? Yes. Beautiful and stuff. And Leeds on the 21st, I think. Beautiful. That, that Get along to all those. To We've got yes. listeners in all those fucking places. Yeah. Snap them up while you can. Come to the show, please. It's a it's, fun one. It's an incredible show. Nominate for a best uh, newcomer. I said all that nice stuff to, on the thing. On the Glasgow thing. Yeah. It's, it's so funny. So funny. You love it. Only the best shows get nominated for awards. That's what I heard. That's what they say. Yeah. Anyone who hasn't been nominated for an award is a goddamn schmuck. That's what I heard. But you know what? It feels like <laughs> it feels like they. You know, some of the some of the like the, the shows that get all the laughs. People don't seem to like. Yeah. But now you're gay, you might get one. I think it's going to help. If you this episode's going to help me a lot. If you'd have popped up at the back at the end of the gig, it would have... <laughs> like Sai, I meant to say when you were talking about popping up, have you seen Sai, yeah, the way he starts awesome. gigs? He starts on a little like, launch pad, and then he's like, boom, onto the stage like an Asian Spider-Man. Sai, you know, Gangnam, Gangnam style. style. Really? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> and then he's like, jumps in the air. It would love to just back. like... He's still doing stadiums, man. Crazy. It's amazing, yeah. yeah. Well, just with that. I never even realised that's like a satirical song, isn't it? I think it's so, about yeah. a kind of like the bourgeoisie of a certain area of South Korea. Right. Seoul, Gangnam is like the kind of, uh, yeah, the, the wanky bit. And it's just bit. funny that the entire world was like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Literally every single person in the world was like, let's watch this. Oh, yeah. But your people don't. Do you know that song, the, do you ever hear that? It's like a song for you. You know that a song by like the, the Great South or something? Your it's song? Like, I think so. Ellie Golding? No, and then Elton John covered it? It's song, you know, Adam Rowe has it at the end of Juicy. You know, the song was like. Song for whoever. Song for whoever. Like and it's it's a completely Jennifer satirical song. Jennifer Allison, you listen Philip to Sue. But it was just a, it was a sincere hit because it's just, it's just the melodies. But people don't really song yeah. for you. give a fuck. You know, yeah. it's about it's like that Bo Burnham song, the song for um like you know when like pop songs, right? Pop, pop singers write songs that are for like such a vague woman that it could just be anyone. Yeah, right. So every listening goes, oh, it's for me. That's but in song for whoever they just name all the names. <laughs> Jennifer, Allison, and who Philip are those Just like anyone, just so it could apply to anyone oh, to wow. sell more. That's is right. the kind of satire Genius. of the song. Yeah. Yeah, very, very uh, funny. Did that Bo Burnham, the country song, where he's just... I'm shows pandering. Like, yeah, that's no so, shoes, no, no shoes, shirt, no oh, Jews. You, you didn't hear that. Yeah. <laughs> so good. Um, Go anyway. see Bo Burnham live. He's doing... Uh, Paddy, oh, yeah. <laughs> Go He's doing Bo, fuck actually. all. Um, Patreon.com forward slash parenting for extra podcasting fun. Our uh, tour dates. Yeah. I'm on tour. MikeRiceComedy.com. Uh, Hull, Leeds, get some tickets. Everyone in the north of Ireland, fuck off. No, <laughs> uh, no, I love you. But uh, Oma, Derry, Belfast, buy tickets, please. Uh, would love you. The Belfast ones are nearly gone. Uh, get on that. And then... I, everywhere else just have a look at my a second London date's going to be added by the way um, that one's sold out um, and I'll, I'll add a new one too I just I need to get a venue it's proven tricky Belfast London uh, Sheffield and uh, Dublin there's like extra shows in all those places um, that'll be in the, in the weeks following this podcast being released and you should get tickets particularly Belfast and Dublin there's like last few in there cool venues and I'm hopefully adding an autumn leg to the tour and that would be fun um, if I can get all that fucking sorted slash if I can be fucked um, but anyway get along to that feel and he'll, he can be fucked um, nah. um, anyway uh, patreon.com forward slash parenting for more podcasty fucking stuff yes see you on the Patreon bye, bye. bye. go see Patty bye bye Nice.